Welcome, in front of me is a Nokia 5.3 and today I'll show you how to enable and also set up the do not disturb mode. And to get started, let's find the do not disturb mode toggle, which for me is right up here. So once you find it, all you need to do is hold it, so we can actually change the settings of it. Now if you don't feel like changing the settings of it, you can just simply tap on it and enable it. Uh, but I do recommend you to go in here and just see generally how it's even set up. So, uh, right at the start we have calls at the top, uh, so we can allow calls from anyone, contacts, favorites, or no one. I'm gonna go with no one because that actually allows me to go over another option, uh, easier, I can, well, easily explain it. So it's this one, allow repeated callers. And basically what it means is if this is enabled and someone calls us twice within a 15 minute period, they will be able to call us the second time, or more precisely, reach us. Uh, without this option, uh, as you can see right now, it is set to don't allow any calls. Uh, so this option basically bypasses this one, assuming they meet the requirement of 15 minute period. Um, so if you're wondering what would be the purpose of this, because it kind of defeats the purpose of do not disturb, uh, I would say it's probably more designed for emergency uh, calls. When people really need to get a reach of you uh, in terms of like emergencies, they usually spam call. Um, minus the fact that there are some really persistent uh, people trying to sell you some stuff uh, but we're talking about normal circumstances your friends or stuff like that family trying to get a hold of you and this will allow them to actually reach you now going back we have messages the same thing as calls uh, everyone contacts favorites no one so again choose which one you want there is no 15 minute period thingy thing as we did with calls it is only exclusive for calls we can also tap on see all exceptions, which will, well, give us the calls and messages option uh, together, even though we already have them. Uh, but it also gives us the check marks right here for different kind of interruptions. So alarms, media sounds, touch sounds, reminders, and events. So again, if you want some of those uh, functions or features uh, to still give you sounds and reminders, uh, make sure you enable them. Otherwise, they will just be completely muted and won't give you any kind of uh, si signal that something should be for instance like reminders you want to be getting reminders and do not disturb mode now if you go back we also have restrict notifications so here you can set up how the notifications appear during the do not disturb mode so you could set it up that there is no sound from them but they still show up on the screen if you wanted to or you can go into custom and just set it up however you want it to appear Then we have the default duration, uh, this refers to the actual toggle, so right here, this is the default duration meaning. So right now it's set to until turn off, so every time I tap on the toggle it just turns on and I need to turn it off myself. So default duration allows you to choose that, uh, or change that I mean. So we have one with the uh, option for like timed one, so right here the default one is one hour but you can tap additional hours. So right now it's four. If I confirm this and tap on the toggle later on, it will always turn on for four hours. And personally, in my opinion, the best option right here is the last one. So ask every time, which will simply bring up this window every time you tap on the do not disturb mode toggle. So we can select it until turn off or for a specific amount of hours, which, pay, which can be changed every time you interact with the do not disturb mode. So as an example, I set it to five hours turn on and let's just assume that the five hours have run out. So now if I tap on it again, it brings it up again and I can again choose different amount of hours. So allows me to have a little bit more control over it uh, a fairly, in a fairly easy way. And lastly, and probably most important part, would be the schedule option. With the schedule option you can, well, kind of as the name implies, set up a schedule. And basically all you need to do is tap on the uh, little gear icon and edit what kind of day of the week you want it to turn on and off during and what time it starts and stops. So right now we're in a sleep one and as you can see it's basically all week but if we don't want it all week but as an example only Monday through Friday there we go it's now Monday through Friday start time let's make it something like 9 till 5 there we go 9 to 5 
a kind of a work schedule, uh, let's call it. Uh, and that's about it. Once this is set, we can simply go back and uh, if you have changed any settings, you don't need to enable it, it will automatically become enabled. So if I can show that right now. Okay, I guess I lied. So it doesn't get enabled in here. So just tap on the check mark in this case. Uh, and from here on now, it will turn on and off automatically uh, each day of the week that you have selected at a given time and then turn off again in the same way at the given time. So you don't have to basically do anything with it. But anyway, if you want to turn it on manually yourself, then all you need to do is tap on the toggle right here, like so. And you're set. Now that being said, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.